Hey there, this is Sam from CSL Sass Kids and in this video, I'm going to show you our updated course snippet for multi pop-up. Okay, so now uh, this course snippet is uh, pretty simple and very straightforward and easy to use. And the same way you can add uh, the multiple pop-up. Okay, so it can be two pop-up or more than two or whatever number of pop-up you want to put on your page, then you can do this. Okay, so uh, let me show you the example here this is the first pop-up okay let me show the second one this is the second pop-up this is the third one and this is the fourth pop-up okay so basically uh this time we just used the go high level native pop-up system okay so instead of creating a, a customized pop-up uh, window but uh this time we are using uh, the a native pop-up system okay so let me show you how you can implement this course snippet into your uh, go high level okay so here in this space you can see i have uh, some element added but uh, what do you need to do first of all open this pop-up settings and um, so you will get this blank if you don't have any pop-up yet but in my case i have already added some pop-up so what do you need to do when you have the blank window like this, all you just need to add some row, okay, some column or the content, okay. So this time you add a column here, okay. It can be one column or two column, whatever, okay. You will uh, get this type of uh, column um, and then all you just need to uh, do is just select the column and then go to the uh, general tab, okay, here you see the one column row I already added just Okay, so what you need to do, just uh, click here and into the uh, column tab, okay, go to advanced and add the class, okay. So use this exact CSS class, okay. So you add two different class, pop hyphen row and pop hyphen zero one, okay. So this is the first pop-up, okay. So this actually represent up our pop-up row which we actually want to show when someone uh, click the button and this represents the first pop-up, okay? And then this way, once you're done with the first one, then just copy, okay? Just copy like this button, okay? And then uh, update your uh, pop-up classes, okay? So like this, let's say this on our second pop-up, okay? This on our second pop-up, and we need to update the content and everything that you want to add on your second pop-up and then go to advanced tab again then put pop row exactly same as it is okay and then uh, pop 01 make it 02 okay just edit it and make it 02 that's it this is what we actually uh, need to do here okay otherwise everything is same okay so uh, that is why I just asked you to uh, clone this uh, first pop-up. Okay? So this will, this way it will be easier to edit, okay? Otherwise you can add a new pop-up this time you need, okay? By clicking this add row icon. So no worries about that. But uh, for simplicity, all you just need to uh, click this clone icon and then update your uh, pop-up uh, number, okay? The second pop-up, okay? So this way you can add as many as you need. So in this example, I have uh, four pop-up. Okay, so let me show the second one. Yeah, you can see second. And here is my third pop-up. In the advanced step, you will see the pop03 is the class, but pop row is the main class. We need to uh, keep this as it is. And then for the fourth one, we have uh, pop-04, okay? So this way, add all the pop-up you want to use on your page and add the same class, okay? No changes, okay? Exact same class, but you will change the number, okay? Here, pop one, pop two, pop three, okay? This way, you just need to uh, add the number of pop-up you want to add, okay? But zero is uh, needed, okay? And then, uh, what you need to do, once all the pop-ups edit, okay? Just go back to your page and then, add the button okay anywhere you want to uh, put this in your page okay so let's say uh, in this example i'm using four different uh, pop-ups so i added the first button here the second button here third button and here is the fourth button okay so let me add some uh, margin top okay so uh, let me go back to the first button okay what i need to do uh, just select the button and then uh, go to the advanced tab okay and add btn hyphen pop 
okay this is the exact class you uh, css class you need to add here okay btn hyphen pop pop okay and then uh, just uh, go to the general tab again and then at the very bottom add the css class you add it into the row okay so this actually this class actually uh, represent our first uh, pop-up row okay so make sure you select the link okay the button action should be link and then uh, you will see this type of option to put the uh, value here okay just put the class you added okay so if uh, i want to show you let me go back here and then you can see i added pop one okay for the first pop-up there is the class I just added here and also make sure you have the dot sign okay so we just need to add the exact class here okay so dot pop hyphen zero one okay this is the first one then for the second one do this again exactly same website okay the button action should be website and then uh, into the website URL okay you just add uh, dot pop hyphen zero two okay this is the second pop-up as uh, i can show you let me go back here and this is our second pop-up okay so here this is the exact class we need to add as our button uh, url okay? so here is it and then go to the advanced tab and add the btn hyphen pop okay so the same class you need to add for all of the buttons okay then go to the third one again at dot pop hyphen zero three this is our third pop-up and then for the advanced tab okay just add the btn uh, hyphen pop okay so and then for the fourth one we will do the exact same thing only we change uh, the uh, number okay like this this is the fourth pop-up so we will add this uh, fourth uh, css okay with the uh, css class uh, dot right okay and then uh into the advanced step we have the same exact uh, class okay so once you are done with everything then just add the course snippet okay so you will get this course snippet into our library okay below this video so just add just copy the course snippet from here and go back to your go high level and open the code editor okay just by putting this let me show you you don't know okay so this one okay code and then open this into the editor and put the exact same code do not change anything here okay this is very uh, important you don't need to update anything here all you just need to add your content add your classes you are good to go and then uh, once everything is done add another button at the very bottom of your page okay so this is uh, the most important part okay so add another button okay at the very bottom of your page and then uh, for this button add this class okay btn hyphen pop-up okay add this exact class and then what you need to do uh, by default you know click funnel has uh, i mean the go high level has the button action uh, for open pop-up you just need to keep this exactly same okay so you don't need to change anything here just keep it uh, open pop-up because uh, this uh, button we are going to use as the trigger of our uh, pop-up okay so and then once you've done all you just need to uh, hide this okay so how you can do this okay because uh, this one we are not going to show to our uh, visitors okay the page visitors that's why we need to uh, make this hide okay so how we can do this just select the button or go to the layer okay and then go to page and the section where you edit it you can see inside the section we have this button okay so this one we are going to hide from our page that's it okay so select the button okay from here from the layer and then hide it and then publish the page okay once everything done publish the page and then let me show the preview okay, so if everything goes well then we should have the working pop-up you can see it's working just fine without any issues any new or anything else 
and also our last button that is already hidden is not uh, showing here for our uh, visitors okay so that's it for this video okay if you find any other problem to implement this course method then just feel free to write us in our email sam at jsoscrits.com uh, okay we will help you to implement this course snippet or we can uh, record a video for you if you uh, don't know how to use it okay so that's it thanks again for watching this have a nice day